Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Monique Jules. Um, I have good news. I've gone up in subscribers. I'm very happy about it. Um, I have a small sale today. I have um, I'll have some boxes here in the next few days. I'm so happy. I'll be the first ones I've had in months. So what I'm going to start out with is a small sale. I've already shown you these things before, but I'm trying to um, go ahead and lock these up and get them sold. I'm trying to even myself up here. Um, I'm thinking I don't um, know if I've shown this before. I don't think I have. It is the Waterford Crystal. And there's the tag right there. And it is this Celtic Cross. Very pretty. There are no chips, no marks, nothing. It's perfect. I did look it up. It's very, very pretty. This just needs a silver chain to go with it, which I'll probably have one in the next couple days. I did get some sterling pieces. Um, let's see if I can show it to you better. It's hard to hold on to it. This piece is absolutely gorgeous. It's crystal. And it's Waterford. And this is $35. It's very nice. Okay. I'm going to put that back in this little bag. Make sure you can see it. Got a beautiful little bezel on it. It's really nice. There we go. Okay. So I'm at a different angle today. I'm not real sure if I like it yet or not. But anyway, we're gonna just keep on going here. I have what I do believe is halite ceramic beads. We have the little Rondelles, rondelettes, whatever you want to call it, beading around the edging here, the edge of the beads. These are halite chips. This is a cute little pair of earrings, the exact same turquoise as this. Um, right there, They're very very pretty. Has a pink and a yellow stone, or pink and a green. Not pretty. And then the next thing we have is a, it's just metal, it's not um, sterling. This ring here, with the same color of turquoise, exact match. This ring is about, I don't know, three and a half or four. It fits my pinky finger perfect. It's really pretty. See it. It's got the Indian designs. There you go. And this is a, I think it's R.L. Graziano. It is a definitely vintage, as you can see from the clasp. It had a tag, but nah, it's not on there now. But this is gorgeous. This is definitely vintage. The beads are cold, cool to the touch. Um, it is so strikingly, perfectly the same turquoise color. So this set right here with the earrings, necklace, and these, I mean, <laughs> earrings, ring, and these two necklaces, which are just beautiful, that is $20. So we will go ahead and say that is number one. Um, this is Premier Design. A little charm bracelet. It is kind of that frosted or matte silver and gold. Very nice. It has the tag on it right here. These are so tiny. Got the tag there. Premier Design. We have a second one that is very popular. I've sold two of these. 
it has a ring with a little AB stone, which is cute, a heart, a crown, and a cross. And then this end has the tag on it. This looks brand new. I'd be very surprised. That's number two. Number three is a beautiful little flower. They're like little stations or panels. Gold, light gold tone, not faded. It's just not a real deep gold. Nice tone. I'll show you the pattern. And the little knotted pieces in between are really cute. And you can tell this is lucky because you've got the four leaf clover. So, so this lot is these three and they are $20. This is number two. Well, I hope everybody's starting off with a good week. I know mine's been okay. It's been kind of boring, really. Okay, this is unusual. I've got, this is my little weird lot, or very unusual lot, I guess you can call it that. Okay, we have this, which is like a enameled porcelain. It has the Z and I did know what that meant and I forget and it is I'm pretty sure it's Dutch. It's a Dutch creator of porcelain and it's been you can tell this has been fixed but it's on there and it is a kind of a gold tone for a chain. There is gold around the edging it is gorgeous. Look at her. She is so pretty. There's nothing wrong, no cracks, nothing. She is gorgeous, and I know it's an older piece. Okay, the second one is very unusual. It is a medallion. It has the old style, kind of the um, design on the back where they've made this pattern. I've seen this many times before. You've got an older style clasp. Um, it's got the hook, which I think, honestly, I've seen these before. I think this goes on your, um, where your tie would be, or it could even go on your lapel pocket. I think this is a man's medallion. And on the inside you have, let's see if I can get a good picture of it. I think it's the cross, the lion. Let me look. No, this is a different one. This is a cross, and it's got crowns. Yeah, there's two crosses and two crowns. So I'm not sure. It could be some English, British type of thing, or it could be a, for all I know, it could be a mason pin. I don't think so. Um... But, yes, that is very unusual. This is gold tone with black enamel and black around the edge of the square there and red. These three pieces right here, I have showed you this one. This is Landscape Jasper. It is a gorgeous piece. It is very cold. It is on enameled copper. This is the back piece. I don't think it has any writing whatsoever on it, but I want you to see the landscaping on that piece. Isn't that pretty? So these three pins right here, just because they are so unusual, or these two pins and this pendant are $30, and that would be number three. Um, these two are not marked. This is a squiggle. And it's in perfect, perfect condition. Gold tone. Very gold. That's why I thought it was Monet and it's not. This leaf is a little more like a brushed gold. There are three pearls. They are real. This is gorgeous. There's nothing wrong with it at all. It's not marked. But it is absolutely beautiful. We have what I think for sure. Yeah, this is the poinsettia. This is Kenneth Cole. It's a poinsettia. 
with the red little gems it's just pretty little crystals in there and then we have the Avon Angel and it is rhinestone it's very pretty it has the NR for Nina Riki it, she was an artisan that made pieces for Avon that's what the NR stands for this little painter's palette artist palette is so cute you've got the pretty stones in there little crystals the red blue green and purple which are like the main colors and it says Avon right there on the edge very hard to see Let's see if you can see it <laughs> probably not but that's an Avon pen. You can look this one up. This is a crown trafari, which to me looks very much like Monet. I was very shocked. I want to make sure I show it to you right side up. It says crown trafari right there. Try to get it where you're. There we go. This is an absolutely perfect, immaculate condition. At that and it sits kind of at an angle very beautiful it's um almost stark white it's just a little creamy with the gold and then there's this one and this is Liz Claiborne and it is the cutest little basket of flowers and it has the LC but it's super hard to find it's back here somewhere so there are seven, and these are, for all seven of these, it's, um, let's see, what was I thinking? 25. For number five, we have just kind of like a little set of things that are very pretty. We have an Avon tennis bracelet here. It has an extender. It extends it to about eight and a half. I've shown this one before. It is gorgeous. There's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Very blingy. And pretty. So there's Avon. I have just a beautiful silver tone clamper with the blue. It's a really dark, kind of a cobalt what would you call it? cobalt blue just a beautiful beautiful clamper it's very nice it's kind of the oval shape which I think is great so we have that it's not marked but it's in excellent condition I also have another clamper I like these because they show your skin it's like the little window clamper this is a gold tone it's not a real deep gold but it's not scratched. It looks really nice. Let's see if you can see it. Here, let's do this. Very pretty. Okay, so we got that. Then we have a boat pin or brooch that I'm sure someone probably got on a cruise, but it's awfully cute. All the rhinestones are there. It's nice and deep gold him there. And then we have another unmarked pen brooch. Like I said, these are very collectible. And it has the um, starfish, just a regular shell, and the ship's wheel. And it's nice looking on the back. So there's that. Then we have the anchor. Of course you have to have that. And it is very nice. There's no markings on this one. It's nice and gold. And then we have a chunker bracelet. It is like a, it's probably a resin that's been poured. It is the most excellent looking bangle because there are no scratches. It's actually got a gold chain on the inside. And a zipper at the top and the bottom. 
And you can see the zipper at the top. And this thing is spectacular. Isn't it pretty? So it is black and gold. I think it's neat. I'll put it on. I'll show it to you that way. Look at that. So this lot right here, there's four bracelets and three pens is $20. And that is number five. Number six is a huge group of necklaces. This necklace is marked CG. I've seen some online, but I do not know who or what CG is. This has three crosses and rhinestones. It's very unusual. These next pieces are all unusual. This is a loft piece, and it is very, very pretty. It is rhinestones. And they are like kind of like a cha-cha. Just beautiful to sit on you. This is, like I said, loft. Very pretty, kind of a charcoal and black. Look how pretty that is. The next one is a very vintage, more of an acrylic or resin piece here with some plastic beads. I just thought it was cool. So you can see. Isn't that neat? Is very pretty. So that's the third one. The fourth one is a collar and it is not sterling but it's probably stainless and perfect. It is shaped nicely. It's nice on the inside. I put it on. I can actually fit it. Um, it's really quite comfortable. It's, it doesn't bother me at all. Okay, the next one is a, another collar, and it's a beautiful green. It's like a kind of an almost like a crayon colored green, even though it's not looking that way. Um, let me see here if I can darken this up a little. Um, it's a really well made piece. You can see the back here, yeah. And it is just gorgeous for a nice summer dress. Someone would like that. And it's like graduated, the beads are a little bit bigger here, and they get smaller as they go up. And you've got a double toggle, so you can make it shorter or longer. And it is almost like knitted. It is like it is just too cool. Okay, the next one in this group. I actually saw one online that was red and white. This is black and white. It is a vintage piece. It does have the um, little claw, like the little hook clasp. I don't know why I said claw. The hook clasp here, it is not marked. But like I said, I saw another one, so the tag might have came off. Um, Black and white and the gold, everything's in good order and it looks perfectly new. These pieces here feel like, I don't know, they're like plastic, but they're real soft. It's really a cool set. Then the next one is really pretty. It is glass. I thought it was plastic, but it's cold. So this is kind of about a 18 inch and it comes down and you've got these beautiful pink glass beads it is not sterling but it is vintage it has the vintage chain which I absolutely love and it's got the old style clasp and it is so pretty look at that right there so you can see in that gorgeous and it's not real short, so I thought it was so pretty. This one is kind of on a, oh, it's not gunmetal. It's more like a copper color. But what's interesting is that, the, the extender has a really again. pretty piece of um, These silver beads are very heavy and nice. And it is long. It's on a lot 
lobster claw. There are no marks, but it's just very nice. Very nice piece. The second piece is very pretty. Now you've seen these before and they were like very tin like. This is a little more substantial. It's nice and gold. I thought for the summer this is just perfect. It is very lightweight, but it's not bendable. It's not like look, you can't bend it. So I think this is very nice. And it is it's got summertime written all over it. You can make it shorter. It's got quite an extender on it. And then the third one is a charming Charlie. It is black and white. Beautiful. Black and white beads. They're kind of a, I'm sure they're glass, but they're kind of a frosted glass and they are almost like faceted. That's really, they're really neat. So there's that and along with that, is a ring. It's a guess ring and it is leopard print and a pretty little crystal. It's a heart shape and it says guess on the inside. Somewhere. Uh, you won't be able to see it I don't think. It's right there on the inside. And all this right here is $20. That ring is about a seven. Very good. So that is number, let's see, what number were we on, guys? I mean, I'm just not doing a good job today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is number seven. Oh. Just say the one with the guest ring if you're interested. <laughs> Okay, number eight is kind of a gold tone lot. It's just very, very pretty. This one has more of a kind of a silver tone chain, but the beads have a lot of gold in them. Um, AB stones, uh, kind of a purplish gold, and faux pearls. It's really pretty. You can see it. it's nice and long. It's probably 36 inches to 40 inches. Uh, along with this, I have a clamper there that's super nice. It's hammered. It's oval shaped. Not nice. It's um, it's kind of a matte gold, but it's very nice. Very very pretty. This one has the owls and the crystals. This is a very pretty piece. I think we've got it backwards. Here we go. The owls and crystals. And it's brand new. It's got the rondelles here, along with the faux pearls. You've got some more stations with the really shiny, shiny glass crystal beads. Those are glass. Then we come up to the top, and it has a marking on it. It's very pretty. This is by June Marie, Jane Marie, I think it is. Jane Marie. And she has a mark right there, and she has a card. Okay. And then we have a statement piece that is just gorgeous. And it is not marked, but boy is it sharp. Look at that. These are like our kind of a reddish brown tubes. And it comes up. I hope nobody starts fireworks. They scare everybody to death. Dogs and all. There we go. It's got the chains here. Everything's there. If it's a little twisted, just twist it back. Very good. So there are three necklaces and one bracelet. This is number eight. 
and that is twenty dollars. Number nine is little Janey pieces. And this will catch everybody's eye. This is so pretty. Okay, this piece right here is a Leah Sophia. It has chain. It's like a gunmetal chain. It has little I think you guys can see that pretty well. It has little shiny coins on it that are kind of iridescent almost. Very pretty. It's very long. It's probably about 40 inches. 42. This is an express piece. And it has the little beads that are um, connected with rhinestones. It's just really, really pretty. And this is like about 16 inches. It's just darling. The rhinestones are very pretty. Love that. And then next we have a magnifying glass. It's just too cute. It's lightweight. The necklace it's itself has little stations of um, kind of clear beads and it's long and it's got um, a darker bead here, two little black beads and then it has an extender or you can make it shorter. So you've got something to magnify whatever you're looking at and it's in excellent condition. So this little three piece set right here is $15. Okay, number 10 is this beautiful I've showed this once before. This is a summer's delight. This is just beautiful. This is the most gorgeous pastel green. It's just a light pale green with a matching bracelet. Plus we have this that has these tones in it. And it has the toggle and these. This has just a little bit more of a beige brown to it just a little but you could wear all three of these together plus we have this necklace that I put together it's actually a pendant and a seed bead necklace or a brooch or a pin or whatever you want to call it and it just pins on there so you've got that, or you can just take the pen off. Let's see if you can see that real well. Isn't that pretty? It has the orange and greens and blues in it. Then we have a barrel clasp seed bead bracelet, which is really sweet. Which is a good set for this. And you can twist it more, untwist it a little bit. I thought that was really a nice little set. And then we have an absolute must for the summer. I hang off of it. It is just darling. They, they are very pretty. The pink. There's the pink. The green. The blue. There's the little shells. Um, it's just gorgeous. And it's nice and long. And I think that's oh and I have a sterling silver 925 ring it's about a size 9 let me see yep size 9 it has beautiful green stones I am not sure what they are I'm hoping you can see those pretty well let me put it on my finger just a very nice light green color like I said, it's marked 925. I tested a long time ago. But it is in there. See how it has those little panels? So that's the set. I thought this was kind of a good match with the greens. This set right here with the sterling silver ring and everything is 25. And I think that is number 10. We've got one more to go. Brooch. I think we 
we have one more to go. Should be number 10. And this is number 11. We have Monet. And we have two little pieces that are not marked, but they are vintage. Okay, first of all is this beautiful clamper. This thing is really nice. It is more of a silver in the center. It has more of a, it gives off a gold cast here on the edges. It's just really unusual. It has a beautiful design on the center here. It pops open. Your safety clasp is there. Let's see if I can get it on. It is just beautiful. Isn't that neat? So it's a, a bracelet that people would look at if you had it on and ask you about. Because it's just that it's just that pretty. So we have this. I just wear it. And then we have this little it's like tortoise shell, but it's not. It is a little rose with some crystals. The heart has a little gold gilding around the edges. Probably not gold. But it looks brand new. Even the gold chain is like unbelievably new looking. There's no marks. Um, it's very, very pretty. It's got the vintage clasp. It's about 16 inches. Just gorgeous. We have two Monet clips here. Of course, a set. And I love these. These are like wings. We have a Scrabble or Scribble pin, which is Monet. And it is in very good condition, as most Monet is. These are like the little shells. I've seen these all over the place. These are so cute. And the clips, you can tell they're Monet. And then we have the Danish little Monet bracelet. It has, I'm pretty sure it's like white milk glass beads. And it is super dainty. And it has, of course, the Monet clasp. There's a little specialty clasp, which is so sweet. And then there's the tag, right there. And it is, it is right at seven inches. It's not very big, but it is just gorgeous. There we go. See how dainty that is. Okay, so this set right here, there's a bracelet, two, two bracelets, one necklace, and two earrings, and a brooch. This whole set right here is $30. Okay, so, and I think that's number 11. So, if I've mixed up the numbers, which I do sometimes, just um, let me know what time the video was. And um, if you guys are interested in any of these things, email me. Um, you can comment below. The first person that comments will get the item. Um, like I said, I'm very excited to have some new subscribers. I'm working on this to try to get more. Um, if anybody wants to share this video, I had somebody share my video the other day and I was so excited. They shared it to Facebook. It was just great. Um, I don't have, I think, any followers that are on Facebook. Um, my friends, which I'm kind of surprised of, but that's okay. You know, not everybody likes vintage jewelry or, you know, the reseller lot. People don't know about it. So if you guys share my video, I would so appreciate it. And um, we have a long week ahead. And um, we will see you guys maybe even Wednesday or Thursday. And if anybody is interested in the Waterford Waterford Celtic Cross, like I said, comment below, and if I get a 
um, sterling silver necklace that I think would look good with it. It had to be kind of a specific kind. I'll let you know and give you a price on that also. I have some sterling coming in. So you guys have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you guys real soon. Bye-bye.